At long last, we have dwindled it down to four teams who have sweated their way to the Final Four and put themselves in a position to get to the Natty Champ. Today's episode's got a lot of action-packed content and an absolute banger of a national championship. I have actually never seen something so heat when simming a game before, so uh, you're going to enjoy this one. It's one small step for Sponge and one giant leap for SpongeKind, so let's keep it going. All right, this is what we've been waiting for. The final four is here. It has been nothing short of chaos in March here. March Madness football is upon us. Going to the side, picked. That is a massive OT pick to seal the game. Even went up by 23. That is the Red Raiders, folks. Throwing it just because. Why not? Touchdown. Xavier with street boat. And we have gotten to the good stuff. Michigan, one seed, has steamrolled its way here after an initial scare against UCLA, has steamrolled its way to the Final Four, whereas Texas as well has been convincing throughout its journey to the Final Four. So Texas, Michigan, two one seeds going at it. And then we got Georgia, who um, also survived an initial scare too, has been rather decisive lately. And the dogs are rolling at the right time, going up against the Miami Hurricanes, who have had a great eight-seed run, initially beating the other Miami, then beating the 16th seed Wisconsin, who, keep in mind, upset Bama. Then Miami took on Maryland, another hot team that was beating good opponents. Then just proved that they're worthy. If you had any doubts, why don't we just take down Oregon? So that led them all the way to the Final Four, and they're going to be going up against Georgia. So... This is for all the marbles. All right, folks, we have made it to the final four. Would you believe it or not? The run is coming close to an end, but some team has got to walk away with a win today and get to the national championship. Michigan versus Texas in the Fiesta Bowl. Winner gets into the final game of March Madness. So let's see who will be walking out of here with a trip to the natty texas scores first with a field goal michigan has been a hard offense to stop this year 10 to 7 texas up by three already into the third quarter this game is getting close 17 14 24 14 21 14 let's see what we got winding down here Ewers hits a big play for 23 michigan is on the verge of dropping a game after having such a decisive run. Texas up by three. Hands it off. They need some stops. Texas is going to try to make them use all their timeouts. Michigan needs a stop. Third and five. Let's see what happens here. Big play. Final four game on the line. Winner goes to the playoffs. The Natty playoffs. Fourth and one. What a stop. Texas would like to hit this one. The snap is up. The kick is good. Up by six. Michigan needs a touchdown. What can Michigan do with the ball? With 53 seconds left. Down by six. Can they dial something up in the Fiesta Bowl final four? McCarthy dropping back. Finds a man. Going nowhere. Clock is going to be chewed here. Third and nine. That was critical. McCarthy quick to the ball. Throws it. Got a man. 20-yard snag by Cornelius Johnson. Cornelius Johnson came up with a big catch there to get this a fresh set of downs. Close to midfield. 33 seconds. McCarthy looking, looking. Sacked and fumbles. That is critical. They can smell the natty. But first, a 30-19 play. Must make a stop here. J.J. McCarthy throws a screen pass to Corum. Sheds a tackle. Cannot shed another. Fourth and 19. Ten seconds left. Clock is going to be out here. One last shot for the end zone. Barring a miracle, Texas should be walking out of here with a trip to the championship. And that'll do it. Texas is officially heading to the national championship. Go crazy, Longhorn fans. Horns up for that one. Cats, though, but respect. You guys are on your way to the natty. And for all those that just got done tuning in to the Fiesta Bowl, 
you just saw Texas Longhorns advance to the Natty Championship. They are looking to take on the winner of Miami, Georgia. Eight seed Miami taking on Georgia here in the Final Four at the Cotton Bowl. Who will come out on top? Miami having a run for the ages, but the dogs are hard to stop when they get rolling. So this game is already off to a defensive checkmate. Six to three right now. Absolute battle on the ground. 10-6, Georgia up. Uh, it's 13 6. We need to tune in. It looks like second and goal for Miami with three minutes to go. Down by a touchdown. Can they plunge in? They do. 21 cashes in, and Georgia is already cruising as the dogs do. Let's jump in. First and 10. Tie ball game. Two minutes, 50 seconds. Stuffed on defense. Hurricane defender gets him down. Drops back, finds a man over the middle. Bowers, that dude is a beast. Georgia, man, in a battle with Miami. Miami is having a run. Can they keep their dreams alive? Not like that, they will not. Marcus into the end zone. That is a Bulldog touchdown. All right, what has Miami got? Anything up their sleeve with two minutes left? Dogs with a quick strike. What can they do in return? Not a good start. Out the backfield, Parrish for five. Keeps it. Questionable decision. Fourth and 11. Dogs are on one right now. This, in effect, will do it. Fourth and 11. Can Georgia hold it down and walk away with a trip to the natty? And just like that, with emphasis, with an exclamation point, this ball game is over. Georgia is headed to the national championship. Surprise, surprise. The dogs are back. We're into the final game, the Natty Championship, Texas versus Georgia, a one seed versus a two seed. So despite all the madness of March, because there was plenty of it, a lot of upsets, a lot of teams absolutely upset, it kind of gets back to something a bit predictable, a bit actual, realistic, and traditional. So that is how it crumbles sometimes. I mean, the best team will still get to the end and still get to the championship, even with 64 in the playing field. Let's get down to the field. The moment you've been waiting for, we're going to watch this game play out. We got the Natty Championship here. March Madness has come to a close, capping it off with the championship game. Horns and Dogs should have a good one here in store. Let's see what the computer can do and see who is crowned a winner. Shorten the game to two minute quarters just so we're not here forever, but uh, still get enough action to see what can go down in a four quarter game. Dogs bring the heat on Ewers, sack him off the rip. That defense, Chaz Chambliss brings the pressure and drops him. It's a draw. Kellen Robinson's not going very far. And that is a great defensive stand by the Dogs. Ooh, Texas retaliates with a stuff. Minus six on Kendall Milton. Third and ten. Beck looking for a screen. Going nowhere. This is some defense at its finest right now. Finds his man, sheds two guys. Oh, it was this close from breaking it. That's 10 yards for Whittington. Finds his man across the middle. Texas got a little bit of a drive going. And finds a wide open man. He is down the sideline. A massive play, but there's a flag. That might be coming back. Yep. Maybe that's why he got so sprung open, but man, that was a big play brought back. That will not work. Will dogs keep the pressure up? Bring a blitz. They found number 18 down the sideline for a 14-yard catch niblet. Ewers to niblet for 14. Getting him close to field goal range here. Third and inches. 
one minute 15 seconds till half handoff up the middle got it six yards for Brooks dumps it out to the side minus two stuffed viewers looking across the middle had a man overthrew him going for their field goal 53 seconds left Dogs should have some time to get a shot down the field. Can they cash in for three? They do. Got a man. Ah, but over just a bit where he couldn't get his toe inbound. Hand off. Two's got some space, but could not get anywhere. Fourth and six. Texas takes a timeout. They want to try get some more points. Got a man. First down. Texas. They want more points. Wants to keep it going. Going fairly deep. Got a man. 26 yard snag by Sanders. Okay. Second and 11. 15 seconds and a half. Let's see what he goes for. Finds a guy across the middle. Time is of the essence here. He can they spike it? He was on the ground for too long. Two, one. That's half. Georgia kind of gets away with one there. Could have been at least three more points. And Georgia get the offense going. No. Sacked. Man, this defense for Texas is playing inspired. My goodness. Texas defense is so far writing the story for why they should be winning the national championship. All the way back here. Georgia has to take a shot. Almost another sack. Got nothing for that. This is the national championship on the line. Gotta be playing inspired. Third and 11, Georgia. Let's see if they can make a stop. Texas leading by three. Got a man. And he got the first down with Ford Progress. Wow, that was a big play. Unless actually Georgia already taking a timeout in the third quarter. Okay. Let's see what happens here. Big sack. Dogs bring the heat. Taking us to the fourth quarter. Defense wins championships. In no way, folks. This is unrelated. I got an ESPN blurb saying former USC quarterback Malachi Nelson is coming to the Boise State Broncos. 2023 number one recruit in ESPN's 2023 class. Coming to Boise State. Uh, for all those that don't know, that is my second school. K-State first, Boise State second. Just because I went to grad school at Boise State. But um, that is huge news. Unrelated to this championship game. But uh, since we're here and since I'm chilling... I just got that notification, so I am hyped. I'm hyped, not only the video game, to play as the Broncos, but for real life in next season. That is exciting. Him and Genty. Let's see what they can do on third and eight. Beck looking for someone. He got him, man. He got 84 down the sideline. He is going, and he is in for a monster 64-yard touchdown. Carson Beck delivers when it mattered most. Absolute. I don't want to say dagger, but uh, massive, massive mini dagger. Minute 25 to respond, but that was huge by the dogs in the championship game. Minute 25, three timeouts to prove why they should be national champions. Let's see. Georgia. Georgia says, no, you don't deserve to be national championships. We will take that. Chaz, again with the sack. I think they have two. Guys with two sacks now. That defensive line is wreaking havoc, but wait! Fireworks don't stop. 13 going to the house. Holy 80 something yard catch. That was massive. Texas and Ewers are not out of it. Oh my goodness. Georgia defense, what is going on? Absolutely critical defensive letdown by Georgia. Can Texas make them pay? Handoff, easy touchdown. That is going to cap Texas in their quick lightning strike drive. My goodness. Georgia has 52 seconds to gather the troops and make a run for championship glory.
This has become fireworks all of a sudden in the fourth quarter. Went from a defensive master class to offensive fireworks. So let's see what Carson Beck and the dogs have in response. Horns on top by three. Beck, lightning strike over the middle. Brock Bowers, 32 yard chunk play. Another big chunk play. This game might go OT in the national championship. But Beck says he wants to finish it now. Texas defense says, hold on, not so fast. Two sacks for Sweat. This defense for both teams. You can see why they're national championship caliber, uh, both of them. Third and 14 with 31 seconds left. Don't know about that spike, but okay, coach. Uh, Carson Beck. Wow, that was just about to get picked by number six. It comes down to this play. Texas and Georgia. It's on the line here. Georgia in their season. Their run to the championship game in March Madness is in its final play. Unless they get a massive connection, which they do. Marcus, 18 yards for Marcus. He said, dogs ain't going nowhere yet. Beck, can he lead the troops to a touchdown? He gets no one can absolutely see why these two teams are championship caliber as Beck drops back, second and 10, incomplete. Texas defense, if it's time to make a stand, your time is now. You want to hold these guys to a field goal or block it, but you want to get out of here without them getting more. So Beck going deep. He got a man, 84. Dagger. That wasn't a mini dagger. That's a big dagger. Back to 84 again. Come on, man. Dogs, extra point on the way, but Texas, 13 seconds left. It's almost a little too late, but they got three timeouts. If they operate quickly and get a massive, massive play, they can do it. But dogs, man, where did this offense come from? Okay, 10 seconds. Let's see what Texas can do. Ubers dropping back. Needs something big, goes for a big one, and he got it, but he stepped out. That had house call written all over it by Whittington. I don't know how he came down with that one. He stepped out, man, he would have been six in that one. Four seconds left. Midfield, Texas needs to heave one up. This is miracle territory, right? One last play. Here we go. March Madness championship game going deep. Ewers, deep. No, no, no. Are you kidding me? I couldn't script it. I couldn't script it if I wanted to. You are not. You're kidding me. You're kidding me. This fourth quarter. Xavier Worthy for the win. Horns up. Oh my gosh. I couldn't, I couldn't make this up if I tried. Uh, you guys just witnessed an absolute insane ending to the national championship. Congratulations, Texas Longhorns, for an insane game. Ubers, 250 yards and a touchdown with two-minute quarters, guys. Four quarters and two-minute quarters. He threw 250 and a touchdown for the win to Xavier Worthy. Unbelievable. National champions. Longhorns, I cannot get over that. I cannot get over that ending. What a way to cap off March Madness 2023-2024 season, guys. If college football playoffs are played, March Madness, you heard it here first. Longhorns, man. You guys would have been national champs. So I, sorry to all my Longhorn fans that didn't get to see it happen this way. Ask the commissioner. Ask the committee. We want March Madness in NCAA football. 64 teams. A lot more exciting games. A lot more, like... Cinderella runs. Only downside I can see is, yeah, it's like for some teams, like five, six games in the span of what, a week or two? Like that's a lot of football, a lot of chance for injury, but you get this, action packed, bang. But on a real note, uh, 12 team football playoffs will be a lot of fun next year. So excited for that, excited to see what the league turns into. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys enjoyed the national championship game and all the fun storylines and run. I had a blast making this. Uh, so much fun. 
this is going to happen again when the new game comes out. Please drop a like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more content on the way. With that, Sponge out. Peace. Oh, I'm on my way. I'm coming.